Recently, I've been looking into voxels. For those who don't know what voxels are, they're basically like cubic pixels which build up 3D objects. Sort of like Lego. Or like this. Anyway, I was browsing through games with voxel graphics and I came across an old DOS game called Amok. Since it was free and looked like the type of game I'd be interested in, I downloaded it and gave it a go. So let's have a look at it. Starting off, I noticed two things. One, the game is covered with scan lines. Two, there's no sound. So I quit the game and went to the setup to change the sound settings. Yet no matter what I did, there was still no sound each time I launched the game. So eventually I gave up. Anyway, let's go into the game. After 47 years, the war came to an end. Okay, no further description than that, just the war. Start the game, but then suddenly, sound! So now that we know the sound works, let's get into the game. Now anyway, the scan lines don't bother me too much while I was playing the game. However, in a high resolution for this video, it looks kinda dark, so... I'll adjust the brightness and contrast for you a bit. On to the reason I download this game, the voxels. Unlike most games, these voxels aren't cubes, they're squares that look the same on any angle. They look kind of strange really close, but most of the time it looks really, really great. But enough about that. Anyway, I was warned about landmines, but what I wasn't warned about were sharks. I mean, you wouldn't think they'd be a problem since I'm in this thing, but... Man, they're powerful. You know, it would be really nice for the briefing to mention these sharks, which are strong enough to attack me. Be on the lookout for mines. Alright then. Oh yeah, and super powerful sharks. And what are these? Shark exploitation sharks? I'll get to that sometime later on my other show. Ugh, now there's pufferfish too. Finally! The mines. You know, I've run into powerful sharks and pufffish, and now that I've finally seen the mines, they're the least of my worries. Okay, finally, on to the real deal. What is that sound? Oh, it's coming from me. Hmm, yeah. Lack of sound, I just feel uncomfortable with sound. This mech is quite pathetic. These tiny soldiers are able to destroy it. Come on, just blow up, blow up. Ugh. Don't you just love things which you think you can destroy in games, yet you can't? You've been spotted. Yeah, because this is ideal for stealth, and no one saw me before. Ah. All right, so let's try again. Uh, what? <sighs> I have one life. No continues and very little health, and no health packs to recharge my health, so it's really easy to die in this game. <sighs> anyway, after doing the first level again, back to this. Now besides the lack of health, one of the most annoying things in this game is the fact that you can't sidestep, which makes dodging bullets really hard. Ah! Ugh! Ugh. Again. All right, all the soldiers gone. No. What? What are these guys? That soldiers eliminated. Ah. What? That's not it. There's more. All right. There's no way I'm gonna make this. See what did I tell you? You know, I'll do a bit of exploring. Oh. Shield! Yeah, well, by the time I get back into the battlefield, it'll run out. Yeah, you see, I kill just one guy, and it runs out. Well, once again, I'll take a little detour. What? 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 what, what? Bees? All of a sudden, there's mechanical bees? Bees, my god. Well, I guess it would make sense. I mean, bees would strike fear into the enemies, but it just seems really out of place. 
<sighs> beat by bees. How embarrassing. So that was a mock. Well, the graphics are nice, but that's all the praise I can give it. Good graphics don't make good game, as seen in this game. The lack of sound is awkward, the lack of health is awkward, and you get attacked too often and die too fast. <sighs> well, I'm done here.